Shall we begin? Let's begin now. On uh, the last video I did on barbed wire, I sort of showed you how to do the jig, and then I only sort of like skirted around how I actually made the barbed wire. Now, so I thought I'd just do a follow-up little video just to show you how I do it. Don't need many tools, and I'm doing this. I'm going to treat you all like mushrooms, uh, because there's people out there that have never done barbed wire. So I'll do, you know, from start to finish, uh, the bits you know about. Skip forward and find the bits you need to know. So uh, let's start off with tools that you need to make your barbed wire. Yeah, wire, which I'll go into in a minute. Uh, I'm using a little cordless uh, screwdriver. You don't have to, you can do it by hand. But most people I think have got these little cordless screwdrivers and I'll go into that in a minute. Uh, cutters. Well, I'm using a little G clamp, but when we get to that bit, you, you can use what you want. Uh, start off with wire. Well, I'm using uh, 0 0.3. I don't know if you can see it from there because I've got the camera quite far away so you can see. Uh, I'll bring it up, uh, 0 0.3. This is my favorite stuff. I know I bang on about it, but I'm, I'll get this off the internet, pound of roll, plenty of it and it does everything. Uh, I've got some 0 0.2 as well, which I might do the barbs with, I'm not sure yet, because I, I still, I'm still experimenting on the barbed wire, what looks good and what doesn't, uh, you know, things sort of like when I'm looking at them, I think, so, yeah, I like that, and then when I paint it and everything else and put it onto what I'm doing, uh, it don't quite look right, so like I say, I keep experimenting with different thicknesses and everything else if you really want to get sort of uh, really accurate go to Switch's channel uh, go into his, his video list I think it's about a month ago or so he did a, a real in-depth uh, bit about barbed wire what thickness wires you should use and everything else very good very interesting so if you really want to be sort of real anal about what you're doing, go to Switcher. He will give you all the correct uh, sizes of wire, what you, what, what you should use. That's that. Right, kick off with what I do if, we, if we're in shot. Yeah, we're okay. Stick a clamp on here. And it grips. That's just to hold, that's just dummy wire. I've got a little bulldog clip, which I stick on the top. And to be honest with you, when I do this, I get a hot, well, I get two rolls, and I've got it up there, and I'll take it outside, and I'll hook it up onto the fence, one side of the garden, reel both reels out together, and I wind the whole lot up, then roll it back up. So I've just got a roll of it, because when I need barbed wire, I just make it as I need it. That's on there like that. Uh, we'll get some wire. Now I just put it through. If you're just doing a short length, which I'm just going to do a short length to show you, to about here. It's not going to be too long. It's not going to be too much aggravation. So we've got two lengths of wire. It's all unhooked. We're just using that as somewhere to fix to. This end, I put a little loop in and twist like so, as you can see. Yeah, we'll just put that down there for a second. Now, I use one of these. Where we, where's the camera? Just there. I use one of these. Now, if you've got a little cordless screwdriver these are really handy you can get them off ebay amazon they're a couple of pounds and it's a little pin vice and 
you call the screwdriver, it's got the hex in there that just pops in and it turns it into a little drill. You can use a, a cordless drill uh, by all means. Piece of copper wire. Uh, we'll get a pair of pliers. Uh, we'll just put, if we can see, just a little bend in the end. Yeah. And then we'll just cut that off uh, to about an inch, inch and a half. That's rather tough. So what we've got is a little tiny hook. Yeah. Into your pin vise. Do that up. Yeah, we can just hook that onto there. I keep putting the big head in the shot. And then through the noise, we just wind away. Well, I'm quite happy with that. If you're doing a long length, when you pull this out of here, keep hold of it, keep, keep it taut, because it's going to have a little bit of spring. And if you let it go, what happens, it goes up in a loop all the way down, and then it knots up. Yeah, but that's that bit done. And that's your, that's your actual wire. I'll take that off. Cut that off. Uh, I don't think we can see it, but I will show you because I'm going to move the camera so you can see better. But you can use this wire, it makes great tow ropes as well. Uh, like I say, they, it goes from two right up to a, a mil, and you put like three pieces together, four pieces together, and you can get some really nice looking tow ropes. Right, I'm gonna switch you off and move you, and then we'll go on to the next bit. Move the camera, and the next bit, I'm probably gonna have to move it again, is if you did part one, <laughs> it's gonna become a mini series on how to do barbed wire. If you did part one, uh, you saw I, did, I made the jig, nice and straightforward but if you're watching this back to front as i mostly do with most of your videos out there i sort of like uh, getting on the end and i have to start going right back to the beginning to find out how you you know how you achieved it but that's my little jig and we're going to just going to clamp this on to here like i say i'm going to, have to keep moving this camera just so you can see so that goes on the end Clamp that down. Excuse the big uh, grotty hand in front of the camera, but do it that way. Right, I've got that clamped down. Uh, do I have to move the camera? Do I have to switch off? No, I'll just reposition. I'll reposition. We just, we just have to. Uh... Now, I don't know. If the camera's going to focus on that, because also I'm using a new camera as well. I hope the picture's better. This one does focus a bit better than the old one. But that's the wire, just two pieces. I'm trying to keep it as uh, close to the original uh, barbed wire, and that is two pieces. Now, into your little jig, clamp it that side. Clamp it that side. Like I say, I might have to move the uh, camera again because it's very difficult. Now, what have I got there? I don't know. We'll start with a little bit of. Uh, we'll start with a little bit of two. Uh, 
I only do you don't need a huge great big long length because it just makes it difficult so you want a bit about the length of the jig that's about the easiest well that's the easiest for me it's like everything I'll show you these things and you're gonna to have to work it now if you can see on my pliers my tweezers sorry <coughs> excuse me I put a uh, masking tape insulating tape not masking tape masking tape yeah it's all right see that builder you see old builder that uh, I uh, can't distinguish between masking tape and insulating tape. Alright, masking tape. And I've put a small mark on it. Now, that's just a rough estimate. Well, it's just a rough gauge that when you're putting your barbs on, that you can set them so you don't have to keep mucking about. When you drop a piece of wire. So you don't have to keep mucking about trying to gauge it. And, like I say, it's only a rough. Now, I'm going to try and do this without bashing the camera. I'll take it over once, twice, three, four, and just put it tight and let it go like that. Now, last time I showed you these clip the clippers, what they are, old pair of clippers, and I've stuck a bit of uh, styrene on the back, but we have plastic, uh, just to make my gauge up. The, the length of barb. Now you can put as thick or as thin as you want on them. It sticks to them with a bit of super glue. And the great thing about it, if you don't want them on, you can just pop these off. So that's me gauge. Cut. Cut. I'm making a right mess of that. I've made a right mess of that one. Uh, I think we'll redo that one. Yeah, we definitely will do that one. Sorry about the pause there, because I was just uh, thinking about what to do. And I'll put the other glasses on. I might be able to see better. Oh, that's better. I can see what I'm doing. Right, we'll discard that one. We'll just push that one up to one side. And we'll start again. And to be honest with you, that looked a bit thin, so I'm going to go to the three. <coughs> One's a bit of the three, because that look, you know, looks a bit, a bit more sturdier. Right, start again. Right, this is the three. Same thing again. I can see exactly what I'm doing this time because I've got the other glasses on. Right. Round once, twice, three. I'll do it four just to make it look bulky. Now, then we'll cut that off. And you might think to yourself, that's a load of faffing around just for barbed wire. But I'm afraid to say, whichever way you do it, You've got to put a bit of time into it because if you don't put no time into it, you don't get anything back. Now I just use my tweezers one side, my thumb and finger now the other. Just give it a little push, then a bit of a squeeze, and that holds it in place. Yeah, I'll give it too much of a squeeze there, but that will hold it in place. Uh, when you come to paint it, the paint binds it all together. And it really does. <coughs> we'll go for another one. If I'm boring, yeah, you can always skip forward and you know, so yeah. So I'll just line that up with that one. Then do the same again. One, two, three, four. Take that down. Finger and thumb now push it together I mean you can do it in whichever order you want you can squeeze it together just a gentle squeeze you don't need much and if you're using this this uh, wire this jeweler's wire it's quite soft but tough and it will hold in place and 
off we go again and I use this end bit like as, as you can see is like a little rest so you can just hold it so you can get all the way around it two three Squeeze it up, little squeeze, and then we'll cut them. And normally, what I do with this jig because it's so boring, and I'll cut the wire there, you stupid socks on it. But we all get the general gist. Uh, what I normally do is leave the wire on this jig, undo it, hook that over, stick it up on the side. Then, when I you know, get an hour, hour or so. I grab it off, clamp it to the bench, and do a little bit more. Then stick it back up there again, and that way, you know, when you want your wire, it's already done. We can hide that little cut. Two, three, four, and that's not going. Because normally I go that way straight on, but I'm having to come this way because of the camera. Right. You see, I'm, I'm knocking the camera about because the camera's right on my chest. <laughs> so it don't really matter in which order you do it, as long as you squeeze them together, squeeze that together, and that's it. Now I'll try and get close so you can. See, I don't know if it's going to focus. I put my hand behind the back. Is it? Is it going to focus? <coughs> All right. Let's go for the red card. There we go. All right. You can see the barbs. They're a bit messy because, like I say, I'm trying to do it from the side instead of the front. But when they're all painted, they come up just fine. Just fine. And another little thing, I'll just bring you back so you're not looking too much. When you're actually, I mean, all I do is just unhook this side by a little bit and move this through and I normally try and sort of like keep a couple of barbs over so you're working away from the edge of this when you actually come to the end of your piece of wire you're going to have a problem where I'll put this in I'll put this in you've got all your barbs up to here and it starts getting a bit difficult to do it in the centre bit which I'm not showing you in the centre bit here so what I do, the piece of copper wire that you've got left over, if you make another little bend, and the loop that you left on last time, if you hook that through, like so, put your piece of copper wire in like that, yeah, you can see that, and put your loop that you left on the end and you can sort that up and then you can get the barbs right up to the end here because it's roughly about halfway you can work with your uh, your tweezers so you know that gets you right up to the end and saves you wasting a length of copper so you can you know you can make that up that's no problem and that's basically it for that bit I hope it's been of use if it has, leave a comment, let me know. Uh, if you like it, give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, uh, please. <laughs> it, all, it all makes uh, for a better channel, should I say. Right, thanks ever so much.